social friendly soccer spirits club has been up to recently on Skype. Whoa dog, you mean to tell me your soccer spirits club has a Skype group and they are both active and social? Yeah, that's right, they are both active and social.
Wait. What am I doing? Gah! Ah, that really hurt. But enough about that. Welcome to the Xiao Lang Show. My name is Arctic Freezer, but you can call me Art. I'm a cutie pie, is a moron, and wrong. So today, we're going to show him just how wrong he is by saying that Xiaoling can never win. I'm going to show him up, you know? So let's get right to it. This is a special episode, and I am just going to go right through my team. Just going to tell everyone how my what my team is. There it is for, you know, the basic overlook. And, uh... I'm just going to go ahead and explain it. I did explain it before, but my team's changed a lot since then, even though if all the players are still the same. But my team has still changed quite a bit from the last time I made a video. So, and besides, probably a lot of you probably haven't even seen those past videos. They were not that good, to be honest. And right now, we're just going to go right ahead and explain my team. But this time, I'm going to start from the reverse order. And that means we're bringing up Black Tortoise first. As you can see now, she's fully, uh, fully superb. So that was not the case last time. Hopefully that means she won't get one shot at as much. Because that was really sad when I got one shot by all those Williams. I mean, I guess it's Williams, so I'll still get one shot anyway. But what can you do about that? Not, nothing really. Skills, uh, we got three, five, five, five. Uh, we got a reverse cycle, so not the best one. Basically when she gets attacked, she'll just give a crap ton of pass. Good Psycho activates when she does get the pass, decreases incoming damage for 4 minutes, so that's basically useless, I feel like. I don't think she should be getting attacked in 4 minutes if she just passed the ball. Like, come on, my team must really suck if that happens. Or maybe, I guess, Raven with her reflex steals just wrecking my team. Hopefully that's not the case. Farsight is her best skill by far. Decreases the incoming damage, increases the crit resist, so... I mean, everyone knows how good crit resist is. Everyone knows that. Black Tortoise Recovery 3 used to be called just 3, I'm pretty sure. So they just added Black Tortoise Recovery in front of it. Hopefully she gets that off before she gets shot at because Crit Resist is good. HP is good, but it's not a block. So that's kind of the problem there. Spirit Stones. I have a Reflex Stone, so more Crit Resist uh, to pile on. So that's going to be like a total of what? Like um, 22 plus 45? Let's do the math, someone. 67. I just estimated, I guess. I don't really know. Uh, yeah, it's 67. All right, so cycle of a thousand-year-old tree going to be decreasing more damage. So she already has a good amount of decreased damage with good... Uh, was it good cycle? F no, it's far sight. She already has a good amount of decreased damage with far sight. So now she's going to be decreasing more damage. And hopefully, since she needs... I feel like recovery power is not that good, but... You know, hopefully if she gets enough time, she can recover back to 50%. Then she gets good cycle again. Not good cycle, far sight. She gets far sight again. I'm getting those two mixed up all the time now. She gets far sight mixed uh, up again, and then she just gets a little bit more tanky. So, good job. I don't really know why I said good job. Uh, nothing in the story change. She's got no change except with Marion, but that's a nemesis change. Uh, Kiki. We're going to talk about Kiki now. Everyone knows about Kiki. She's just got a really heck ton of uh, buffs. For your goalkeeper or whoever you're putting, whoever whatever line you're putting her in, harmonize and set play, both great buffs. Uh, here we're gonna we're gonna start with harmonize, pass effect, and max HP. So Black Taurus could really use that HP. Plus, Black Taurus could actually use a lot of pass effect because Black Taurus already has a lot of pass. So give her more pass, set play, more pass, hooray! Action speed. That's okay, I guess. Nice to be fast. Meow, because she's a cat. Cat fat is he. Because she's a cat, I guess. She's not going to be using Cat Fantasy. Because I don't have any actives in her. I have no Spirit Stones on Kiki. I don't know why. But, it's been, well, I mean, I do know why. It's because I didn't have enough Spirit Stones to give out. And she's got, she does have a chain with Duke. An affection chain. Probably the most useless chain in my team so far. Except for the Nemesis chain. She's got, that means she's got HP and defense. Which I guess means she won't die. That's good. Good good for her. Let's move on. Elizabeth, I feel, is like an underrated car. I still have not special trained her, despite my intense training montage. And that's because, as I said before, I am planning on replacing Elizabeth in the future with some 
better card. I, that's not to say that Elizabeth isn't a bad card, or that's not to say Elizabeth isn't a good card. That makes a lot more sense, because I feel like she is a good card. She's easy to superb, that means it's easy to get her totems, or not her totems, her skills, and it's easy to get her stats, but particularly, her passives aren't that bad. Benevolence, you know, queens, ben benevolence, if that's how you say it, uh, you just steal twice, twice in a row. I mean, that's really good, moving twice in a row. I mean, you probably probably knew that, but just in case you didn't, moving twice in a row is really good. Disclaimer. Dragon's Wisdom, if she gets a pass off, maybe if she breaks through the back line, gets to midline, gets the attack power and reflexes to midline, or maybe she breaks all the way to the front line because midline's already been through a lot of battles. She gets a really hefty buff to my striker or my midline or anyone, or even to my back line if she chooses to pass, which she probably won't because the leader I at, but, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, reflexes and attack power always come in handy. Two of the best stats, er, Stats. Yeah, I guess they're stats, actually. Uh, space distortion. Not as useful, but, you know, decreased damage. Reflexes. Good. Good. I used to have Silver Blessing 5 out of 5 because crit rate. I liked I liked crit rate. I probably, you know, that might be worth considering over space distortion, but, uh, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a question. I, I chose space distortion because of the reflexes, and I feel like she needs reflexes to counterattack. Make your reflexes to counterattack. Craving nobility. Uh, reflexes and counterattack. Uh, no power-ups on that because, I don't know. And passing. Not really the best spirit stones, huh? And that's because I am going to plan on replacing her one day. Even though she is quite underrated. She has a friendship chain with Cheetah, some more attack power and crit rate. Good stuff there. Speaking of Cheetos, let's talk about her. Superb power up. She's got one uh, skill set. Uh, we got Road of the Wind. She got action speed and reflexes. And I, as you may have noticed, I have put Elizabeth and Cheetos in the opposite places. And that is to say, I used to have Elizabeth and Cheetos' place and she's in Elizabeth's place. But now I switched them around. And that's because I feel like Road of the Wind, if I can get Cheetos in an isolated spot and she keeps attacking over and over again, Road of the Wind Paracentry, which recovers action bar, she gets to like keep moving, keep moving. And she put her in an isolated uh, situation, she has a lot better chance of breaking through to the midline than she does if she's, you know, stuck in the middle facing a four-man front or four-man mid because she's just gonna try to attack every time and that's not gonna be good and isolation you know if she breaks through the back line to a four-man mid she, uh, she still gets the isolation so that's why I put her in the left instead of the right and way of light it just decreases dark and thunder damage and I already have black tortoise so this thunder damage really isn't gonna be much of a factor I guess in the first place now it's gonna be even less of a factor and I'll probably still get beat by Mono Thunder teams if they're really good. But in other words, or not in other words, but in, you know, in, uh, thinking about the dark damage, that's going to stop Raven, that's going to stop Vitos. I mean, it's not going to stop them, but it's going to, like, hopefully, hopefully make them a little bit weaker, which it will, because that's what it does. Let's move on to Beth. Beth has got a one power up on her. I just did that recently, actually. March the Light, of course, recovers Action Bar. One of the best skills in the game, since it costs no spirit. Everyone gets happy, everyone gets Action Bar. And the opponent starts to rage because they are like, what the heck? Everyone suddenly gets to move, what? And, you know, that's the whole March the Light thing. I wish I had it maxed, but I don't have all the power-ups yet, so I don't have that. And I felt like Goddess of Bar uh, Battle and Shards were also very valuable to me. Uh, Goddess of Battle increases crit rate and reflexes within the position. That's good. Everyone in my midline is going to be critting. And Charge recovers Action Bar in the first place. So, of course, you know, Charge plus March of Light, that's just going to recover a hell of amount of Action Bar. That's a lot of stuff. Strong Faith, I have one point into just because I can. And I have increased attack power and decreased the inflicted damage. I, you know, upon th further thought, I probably should have put that in March of Light, but... Eh, I'm not gonna do that now. I don't even. I can't even do that right now. I have like no gold. If you have, if you saw in the beginning, I have like 750 gold. That's I can't even do anything. Spirit stones. I have two out of four slots filled. Dribble and max HP. There's not really to, uh, to say about that. She's got three light stones, so I just gotta throw in whatever I got. Last light stone will probably be a unique once I get it. And I uh, prism stone. That just opens up everything. Because she could use everything. 
uh, story, nothing really important here. Marion is my next uh, showcase. She's also got one power-up. I believe that it was from a dupe I scouted. Skills. What we got here? Inspiring. So more crit rate and reflexes to synergize with Beth. And we got fantastic operations, so she's a little bit tanky and stuff. Woohoo, stuff. I like stuff. Road of Imperial, I wish I had more points of that as well, but of course, one point, I feel like Fantastic Operation was the better option here. And that's really all to say about it, except Princess Sanctuary. Now, that's what the, her EE got, actually. Speaking of which, you saw her EE in the opening video. Uh, how'd you like that? Her, she looks great, doesn't she, in her new form? This is my final form! says Marion. I don't know. But yeah, Princess of Sanctuary, I hear a lot of people complaining about it. A lot of people like saying, man, what the heck, Marion? Why'd you get such a lackluster EE? -E? And to that I say, well, Princess Sanctuary is a pretty good skill. Like, dang. Think about it. Uh, all Princess Marion has to do is counterattack reflexes, which she does have a lot of reflexes, thanks, uh, over a well, 679, but with my three reflex buffs, she'll get over a thousand when the game starts. Princess Sanctuary, if she counterattacks, or if she manages to penetrate, beat the midline of her own, she gets two stacks already, and it's already a 30% attack power buff. And she gets to move one more time for the rest of the game until, like, someone dies. Or until, like, that guy dies, which, that would be unfortunate, but it's not that hard to stack in the first place. Uh, they get 45% action or, not action, attack power, well, yeah, and action speed. Action speed not as useful, but 45% attack power, that's, that's a heck ton. Like, geez, that is a really good skill that I feel like is really undervalued. People are just like, man, this skill sucks. It's, it's really good. Uh, and, and I know some of you probably realized that, and or probably were just, like, complaining how, like, they didn't really change too much. They didn't make, like, something amazing happen, something eye-popping. But that's a really good skill, and it's very undervalued. Spirit Stones. Now, this is a part where some people might criticize what I'm doing, because I have Ermolation on her. And you might ask, wait, you have Ermolation? Why didn't you put that on Black Tortoise? And to that, I say... Um, yeah, you're, you're probably right. I probably should have put that on Black Tortoise. But those substats are just terrible for Black Tortoise. Dribble, receive, pass effect, decrease the infl inflicted damage is the only one that's worth it. Crit rate, she's not going to be attacking. So, I put that on Marion. You know, I decided Marion should be tanky. And I decided, you know, what better way to be tanky than Ermolation, which is really, really good, I guess. Uh... Truthfully, I probably should give Marion Metatron's will. That's probably what I was looking for. But those substats are... You are really tempting, so I'd put that on Mary instead. And I put Life of the Thousand Year Old Tree on there to make her even more tanky. Recovery power, nothing really too interesting there. And uh, Fast Ghost Grab, more crit resist for Marion, so she has more crit resist than my goalkeeper, probably, unfortunately. Well, in terms of stones, that is. Not in terms of skills, because Black Tortoise probably has more crit resist with her one stone and her uh, passive. So. Yeah, Fast Ghost Grab also has some pretty good substats. Uh, we got more crit resist, so that's 16% crit resist. Uh, penetration power, defense dribble, so all stuff that's pretty good for Marion. Uh, what's, what else to say about this? Mm, well, as you can see, it's not plus 15 yet, so I'm just assuming this stone will be godlike once it becomes plus 15. Uh, story, nothing nothing important there. She's got no chains. But who you know who does have chains? Duke. And I don't know why I skipped the spirit. Spoiler alert, I have Paradise of Light on Duke. But Forgiven Power, is, let's just forget everything and just talk about Duke. He's got one power up, Forgiven Power, he's got infinite area. Duke's a one-trick pony. His job, he's got one job, and one job only. His job is to penetrate, get the ball to the front line. And, you know, those two skills, hopefully we'll get him to do that. Loki's Trick, so check that out. Three, all three midliners I have that are set up in my formation have reflex and crit rate. So, we're going to be pretty good on reflexes, and we're going to be pretty good on crit. We're going to be critting, we're going to be counterattacking, hopefully, that'd be good. And, yeah, that's, uh, that's really good for me. And Spirit Stones, uh, we have two Penetration Stones. Whoops, I don't want to equip, I can't even unequip that, so I don't know why I was worried. Penetration Stones, uh, we got a blue one and a purple one, so that's, we're going to be penetrating quite well, hopefully. And that's hope. That's also because I felt like in the beginning, uh, Duke used to like 
Duke used to penetrate the goalkeeper quite often. Duke, uh, the goalkeeper usually has a lot of decreased damage, so I felt like, let's just penetrate through that damage. And that's what I thought. And now, like, a lot of times Duke is just passing the ball. I don't really know. I guess they improved attacker AI to pass the ball now, I, I guess. It used to be used to be pretty good, I'll tell you that. Paradise of Light, generic, I mean, Paradise of Light is not really the most eye-popping stone in the game. Like, it's got max, H max HP and attack power increase, pretty good stuff. First, uh, first, first skill is utterly, utterly useless. But what do we have? Attack, power, HP, generic stone for generic attacker. So, that's good. The substats are pretty good too. Penetration power, so we're going to be penetrating super hard. Crit rate, I don't really need it anymore. Action speed, decreased damage and crit resist. Oh yeah, they're all okay, I guess. They're all, nothing really to say about that. Let's move on to Kyriel, who is my support. But I'm also going to be putting him in the midline, because I feel like the midline has enough reflexes for him to do well enough, and enough crit rate that I don't have to max Fatal Blow, and I can instead max Cataclysm, which uh, is a move that lets you attack twice. So pretty good. excellent there. As I mentioned before, attacking twice is good. That's a keep that in mind, I guess. Uh, Cry of Glory, attack power, crit damage for the entire team. So that's another really good skill. It's just automatic. Everyone's just gonna be bamming. They're just gonna be whamming, and then everyone's just gonna be smacking, and they're just gonna be critting. My midline's gonna be all crit, so it's just gonna be all crit damage in my midline. Hopefully I'll get my striker to crit, then we'll get all that crit damage. Song of Knife, uh, it's just to help him penetrate, I guess. Nothing too special. I do have Terran, or Terranox, Blazing Essence, so I really didn't need it. I didn't know who else to put it on. Uh, just crit rate, didn't really need the crit rate, didn't need the, well, the attack power's nice, I guess. And I don't really have anything to say. He's got four superbs because he's my first legendary. So there's that. Kieran is my striker. Everyone's like, oh my god, Kieran, dude, that guy sucks. And I'm just like, well, yeah, but he has a friendship chain with Xiao Lang. And I showed that off first because, because that's what the whole video is about. Now let's move on to the skills. Extreme Reaper's Wave, that's his active. It's only got three points in it, so he's not going to use it all the time, unfortunately. And that's because all his other skills are really, really good. Now let's move on to his other skills. Uh, Harmony of Elements, Attack Power and Crit Damage. Good stuff. Crit Damage with Curios, more Crit Damage, plus more Curios Attack Power, plus uh, Marion's Attack Power if she gets it off. All that stuff going to synergize well. If Kieran crits, it's going to crit. Well, I probably should have worded that better. It's going to crit hard. Yeah. Mm, the power. Focus Thunder. More crit damage. The power. And crit rate. So, I mean, he has to have something in there that's going to have him crit other than his active, which he doesn't even use all the time. So, yeah. That's, um, that's to help him crit a little bit. And now we have Brainwave, which I guess, like, once Kieran takes a shot, it just, like, bounces off the goalkeeper. And everyone's just like, what the hell was that? That was a, such a pitiful shot. And that's, you know, the whole entire enemy team probably feels sorry for Kieran because he sucks at the game. And they're just like, they just, like, want to take it easy on him. So they just, like, stop moving and they stop attacking hard. And that just allows someone just to give Kieran the ball again. And unfortunately, they didn't realize that Kieran just, like, has got this slow, slowly getting stronger uh, t uh, mechanic in him. And they're just like, wait a minute, why is he, like, suddenly, like, beating the crap out of us now? And they're just like, well, damn. You know what? And then you get demoralized and brainwave activates again. They just like demoralization. They don't attack again. They don't move again. So that's pretty much how I imagine brainwave works. Spirit stones. Uh, what do we got here? This is a crit rate because Kira needs crit rate other than his one two skill that like increases by what? Well, I don't even remember what the thing was. Increased by twenty percent. That's not enough. So more crit rate. More crit rate. Oh, that's actually not more crit rate, so I don't know what I was talking about. Crit damage, though, um, because there's no crit rate greenstone. And I got dribble, received, pass effect, action speed, inflicted dam or decrease inflicted damage. Pretty good, I guess, if I crit. So, more crit damage. All that crit damage. The power! Alright, let's move on. Uh, steel. Um, yeah, you might think steel's not good on a striker, and yeah, I guess so. But check out those substats, though. Those substats, though. Mmm. 
everything you could have ever wanted on a striker. Receiving pass effect, crit damage, penetration power, crit rate, dribble, everything you could have wanted. And, you know, especially considering Kieran is who he is, Steel's not that bad. He takes a shot, and Brainway kicks in, no one attacks, no one moves, and if the pass goes to the person he just shot at, Kieran just like, well, if the person he shot at didn't die in the first place, the pass goes to him, Kieran just like, well, you're pretty weak, and I'll just takes the ball from him, because he feels sorry for Kieran, or she feels sorry for Kieran, she most likely, and she feels sorry for Kieran, and just gives up the Kieran ball back to Kieran, and just like, lays down or something, takes a nap, and that's when, you know, Kieran starts to get strong, and just one's on one, one v one's the goalkeeper, that's what's going to happen. That's the plan. And I do have Glabarius. Glabarius. I don't know how to say that to you because I don't. Penetration power. So, uh, more penetration power for Kieran. Crit rate. I could always use that. Receiving pass effect. That's good stuff. Dribble. That's good stuff. Defense. Uh, I see anal, I guess. I don't really know. And nail. Uh, penetration power. For my penetration power. Yo, dog, I heard you like penetration power, so we put some penetration power inside your penetration power. And, okay. You know, originally, I wanted, uh, what was that blue unique stone that gives you? Striking Heart of Thunder. That's the one that gives you crit rate and crit damage. Originally, I wanted that one to ensure, like, a better crit chance, a better crit damage chance. But, Glabarius, you know, I was a little disappointed when I got it. But, those substats really made up for it. And I was just thinking, you know, Kieran had terrible penetration without it in the first place. You know, he, what do you guys have? 42%? Before, he had, like, 2. Or 8. No, 2 was... He was someone else. Eight. He had like 8% penetrate, so he was like doing nothing. So now he's going to be hopefully be doing a little bit more of nothing. Because that he's caring. And every, he needs to make people feel sorry for him. So he also has an affection chain. So he's got two chains. Two chains! Milky Way. We're going to talk about her. I really like Milky Way. Uh, unfortunately, natural chanting is the only way I can increase crit rate for Kieran, and I don't even have that max, so she's not even going to use that all the time. She's got no superbs either, so what the heck? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. Especially considering Milky Way is going to be my main passer, and you normally want to max superb your passer before you max superb anyone else. And, well, I mean, I have my other passer max superb. Yay! Alright, anyway, music starts. She's going to start the music. Everyone's going to be ready to go, except no one is, because it only works for her, I guess. She's just like, she just listens to her own music, and she's just like, wow, I'm going to start moving faster. And everyone's just like, what the heck is she doing? Smile maker. She just makes everyone smile, I guess. I don't know. Action speed and reflexes, though. Good stuff, because brainwave going to decrease their action speed. So if I get more action speed, I might attack two or three times before they get to attack once. And with the reflex buff that she gives, hopefully I'll be able to counterattack one of those three times. That would be nice. Belief of life, I have nothing on. Uh, she's supposed to not be attacked, hopefully. She probably will. She's uh, one of the weak. She's probably the weakest link of my front line. As sad as it's sad, sad as it is to say that, but belief of light, woohoo! Once I get those superbs, man. Anyway, let's move on to diffusing Yamafire because she's gonna be passing to Kieran quite a bit. She's passing Shaolang with her action bar start. Music start, that is to say. So, I gave her Diffusing Yamifier to get a better pass. Especially with Kieran and all his receiving pass from the Spirit Stones he got. And I do have Silent Code, some more crit damage for my crit damage Kieran. And if Kieran crits, that'd be good. Good stuff. Pass effect, she gets more pass effects. Even with all that pass effect, she doesn't even pass her that much. So, Milky Way EE, please. I would really like that. Okay. And now we've come to... Our feature presentation, ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you, weighing in at 7,000 pounds, standing at a 7 feet tall uh, height, it's Xiaolang, everybody. Xiaolang, what do you have to say to everyone? Okay, that was cut off. I don't know what happened, but she's fully superb. Wow, that's a surprise. I really put a lot into that. And uh, we got, what else? what else we got? Let's just move on to skills. Woohoo, skills, 5-5-3-5, five, five, five. exactly as I said in my guide, because active defense, though it's probably, probably not the best skill, it does protect you from those ninja Hercules, and that's a reference to my guide, so if that made you scratch your head a little, uh, read my guide, because my guide was expert, sharp pass for pass, vacuum cleaner for reflex, and wild herding for pass effect. We also recover spirit because Shaolin just makes everyone happy. 
everyone's content with their lives. And they just like, wow, Sherilyn, you just really cheered me up because that's what she does. She just cheers everyone up. I don't even, I don't even have fully, I don't have full spirits yet. I don't even have full spirit stones on her. I have two. Pass effect and reflex. Woohoo. Reflex. Yay. Spirit stones. Yay. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. I don't even have her uh, with spirit stones. I don't know. All right. That's my team in a nutshell. And right now, we're just going to win some games. Win some games. Woohoo. Let's do it. But before we do that, we're going to do, do, well, as you can see, we're broke. 725 gold. So, that's pretty sad. But you know what I do have? Crystals. And you know what sh I should do before I do Galaxy Arena? Crystal draw. And that's because I'm hoping that I might get a superb. That would be really excellent. So before I do that, I got something in my inbox here. It's a uh, monthly achievements. Or not uh, something. Day 28 box. We're going to see what card we get. Hopefully it's a superb. Hopefully it's a good card. It's probably not going to be a superb. But let's check it out. Oh, Sammy. That's uh, really nice. I like Sammy for PvE, actually. Uh, that's really a really good card that I definitely will utilize. All right, what else do we have here? Free draw. Bam. Let's take a look at this, everybody. Woohoo. It's, oh, and it was a crash. Uh, we crashed, but as you can see right here, it was Estella that we actually got, so, I mean, not the best three star. Well, look at that. We have a mileage draw guaranteed. Guaranteed, man. So, this today we're going to see, like, a good card come out. Woohoo. Uh, you know, other than Shaolang's, probably. But, alright, let's take a look at our chances of draw rate. We have Vanshee here. If I don't mind getting Vanshee, I've always wanted him for action speed shenanigans. Lucius. I don't really care about Lucius, actually. Silk. I have a Silk already. Uh, we got Silk. Guinevere. You know, that'll make everyone happy. That'll make someone happy if I get Guinevere. And I have Sky. You know, that would be really good since I'm Whirlwind Light. Cheetos. Not Cheetos. Asakura. She just got an EE. -E, so if I get her, well, it must be a sign, man. All right. Let's take a look at our mileage draw. Oh, it's right off the bat, baby. That's what I like to see. All right. Just guaranteed right off the bat. What do we get? Linea. Linea's pretty good. She got a whole bunch of buffs with her EE. -E, so, good stuff there. Good stuff. Linea is indeed good stuff. Anyway, uh, what else we got? More Crystal Jaws, of course. Let's see if we can get any other five stars, which we didn't on this one, unfortunately. Let's see how many Ogres or Shaolings we got. Oh, we got a Shaolang. There we go. Look at that luck. I can superb my Shaolang with more, Sha more Shaolings. I can superb my Shaolang now. Exactly what I wanted. Oh my god! Holy crap! <laughs> I was not expecting three three balls in a row. Alright, let's see what we got. Sarah Mel, we just carry. Alright then, I already have Kieran, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. Uh jeez, that was that was unexpected. I don't know uh, what happened. That was really weird. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Sorry if I scared anyone there, but that was so weird. I did not expect that. And of course, I didn't get anything here. <laughs> I got all three stars. I guess that's to be expected. Uh, fantastic. Not even a Shaolang. Alright, I can't do any more of this, but I have five premium tickets I might as well use. I won't expect anything. Premium tickets have never really given me anything good before. Don't expect anything good here. Maybe a Shaolang or two. Ogre? I don't know, maybe. Uh, what we got here? More... Grace. Okay. All right, bets on bets on another three star. Who you got? Yep, three star. Who's it gonna be? Uh, what's her name? Mortar? Mort? Mot? Mot? Motor? I don't remember. Uh, okay, another another draw. Let's see what what else we get here. Uh, it's a four star. Blue dragon. Okay, all right, and our last draw. Isn't that a four star? Good way to end it because I wasn't expecting anything good in the first place. All right. Okay. Now we have everything we need. And before we do our galaxy run, 
let's do our superbs. I got a Kieran superb, which I'm not gonna even use because I don't even need it. Kieran's already fully superb for me. But great, great indeed. I can increase my Shaolang, Shaolang power. Oh, I can't even buy. I can't even do it. Never mind. Never mind. Can't even do it. Uh, that was embarrassing. But you know what isn't embarrassing? Not losing is not embarrassing. That was um, that was good. Good, good one. Art. All right, so we're gonna do some Galaxy League. We're gonna hopefully prove I'm a cutie pie wrong. We're gonna show off that we can win, and we can do it right now against Chels Bus Three. I think. I don't remember. All right, what we got here? Oh, it's a uh, mono light mostly, except Kevin. Kevin's there. Oh, is that? Ain't no half I see. Okay, good. She doesn't. Good. And nail. You know. I should probably. I don't know. Someone should tell me how her name's pronounced. Is it pronounced anal? Because I don't really know. And that would be pretty embarrassing if it wasn't. Okay, you got Beth, Sammy, Vonchi. So he's got something. Uh, Milky Way. Good. Good combination there. Vonchi, Milky Way. Scylla, of course, with the buff. Rassio, Valkyrie, Beth, Sammy, Virgil, Kai. All right, let's just go, man. Let's just go. I don't even. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. I'm just going. All right, let's do it. Let's see if we can win. The power. I feel it. I get the ball first because of the power. All right, Shelling. You can start with the ball, and you can just give it to Kirio. Kirio with the cataclysm. If I get counterattacked, I'm not. So whatever. Just. Win, win, win. Let's do it. Let's win. Let's win. Shaolin with the ball. She can't act it pass, so she's just going to pass it. Kieran. Bam! I didn't crit. So that looked pretty pitiful. But now everyone's feeling sad. You know, everyone's like, wow, Kieran, you really suck. So now we have a really good chance of counterattacking while their spirits are down. All right. Come on. Kevin, look at him. He's not even moving. He's like, oh my god, what the hell? But then he just loses the ball. And here comes the pass. Here comes the active pass. Wild hurting all the Shaolangs. Here comes the Kirin. And we win. We just won. We just won. So look at that. Everyone, everyone, we have video evidence of me winning. So we can just all kill I'm a cutie pie now. Everyone just storm over to his house. Burn his house on fire. He's a goddamn liar. He, well, I'm a, I'm, I, I won the game. So say I never win. You just, you just lost. You never win, because I just won. You know, maybe you were talking about yourself. I wouldn't be, ex uh, that wouldn't be a surprise. Okay, so we just already won one. We already proved them wrong. We proved our point. We don't even need to do anything else. That's it for today, guys. All right, now, now we we got it. We got to use all our balls today. This, I have three balls, you know, and the doctor said that that's one more than I need. So. I don't know what he means by that, actually. I guess we're just gonna, you know, get rid of it. Against this Scylla Ace. Whoa! Scylla Ace. I've never seen a Scylla Ace before. Just kidding, I see Scylla Aces all the time, guys. Alright, we got Kirio, so he's mirroring. Mirroring, Kirio, Malcolm, Choi. That's a legendary. Wow. Hero, Kiki, Scylla. So that's gonna be a little bit dangerous if someone gets the pass off the hero. Uh, Magnus in the back, not really going to do too much to me, because I ain't Ardor, I ain't Dark, Dark, uh, that was old Magnus, I ain't Thunder, and my Shaolin has more reflexes than him, so I'll take that, Magnus. Tyler, of course, well, I, not of course, it's not really obvious that Tyler was there, but Belle, there she is, she's going to be a little bit of a danger, of a danger, yes, I can English, and then Abnor and Asilla, so we got all that stuff going. I don't even know what to say because I'm just going to start the game. Uh, what we got? What we got? What we got to do? We got to give them the ball. You know, I won. I'm feeling generous. Let's give them the ball. All right, what we get? What are we going to see here? Malcolm against Beth. Not even going to do anything. Look at that. Demon crit. I crit for 74 damage, so take that. Ooh, Choi did quite a lot of damage there. But now it's my turn to shine, Kirio. Ooh, he took a lot of damage, too. Marion, though, time to shine. Aw, oh, damn. Okay, well, this might not be good. Kirio's just gonna... Woo! Look at that reflex. Woohoo! And now Beth. Beth, it's your time. It's your time. Malcolm goes down. Now you've got the, you've got the chance to use your active, and you don't. Ah, 
Come on, Beth. But here we go. The pass to Kieran. He just shoots it and crits for 769 damage. All right. Very good. Silla Ace. Very good. 769. All right. Uh, I did not counterattack Tyler here, unfortunately. And Tyler's going to move. Did I counterattack him there? No. Did he just beat my shell lane. What the heck? That's just... I don't even know what to say about that. That's rude. No one no one saw that. Shaolin didn't lose. Shaolin never loses. I proved that in the last fight. So, anyway. Uh, you see that X around here? That's a, just a graphical glitch. I'm pretty sure. Kieran now. He's going to shoot the ball. He's going to active. He's mad that he does no damage. And, wow! He just did damage. So, you know, he just... You know, he's friends with Shao Lang, so you don't fuck with friends with Shao Lang. You know, that's just a general rule. That's just a general guideline that you should follow, that everyone should follow. Okay, okay. So, lesson learned, guys. Don't do that stuff. Because now, now Kieran was pissed enough to get me into the semifinal against someone with a name I cannot read, but it looks like two characters followed by two other characters. It is a Beatrice Ace. Let's fight her, I guess, because Kieran is obviously the better whirlwind striker. Okay, the four-man front line, so I am right. Those things do exist. Nezi in the mid line. So that's a lot of passing power if she manages to get through. Not good stuff. She does have a lot of stuff. Cynthia. Ooh, that's annoying. I hate Cynthia a lot because she just decreases action speed of everyone. It just makes me sad. Ah, yeah. That's one of the Mono Thunder keystones. Cynthia is, that is. Linnea, of course, also on the other side. So, there's another part of the Mono Thunder keystones. I don't know why I'm saying keystones. Uh, Eden in the back, so. Decreasing damage. Metatron as well. Rudio. And Isilla. Nice. Nice job. I know my names. I know my names, guys. But do I know if I'm going to win? And I do know. And the answer is yes. I think. I'm about 50% sure that I'm positive. All right, here we go. There were, yeah, I'm just going to give him the ball again. You know, it's really not nice. Nezzy is going to pass it to Cynthia. Cynthia, she's got the elemental advantage. Ugh, that was uh, not very pretty, Beth. And, you know, I don't really know. Because Beatrice now has the ball and she's going to just act him. So let's take a look. Oh, Elizabeth goes down. Ouch. But now, we, you know, this was all part of the plan. We get to show off our back line, and she tells with her isolation. She's just going to penetrate again. She probably, she's just, I don't even know what, she's, just, I don't know, she just wants to, I guess. And here we go, Kirin, or Kiriol, actually, rather. Cataclysms, so, ensures the get-through. He's not going to penetrate again. Oh my gosh, he penetrated again. Into the Metatron, and now Rudio has the action buff. And Metatron is the action buff. But before Metatron can attack, I get the attack. So, yeah. I do 323 damage. I didn't crit. I didn't crit. So that's part of the thing. I don't even get to use Brain Whip. Because Metatron just destroys Milky Way. Hmm. I don't know about that. Alright, guys. I crashed again. And, you know, I just felt very, very sad about that. Because that means I lost. And, you know... That's just the thing that happens, I guess. I'm going to be pretty sad about that for quite some time. But we did get to prove that we did win. So technically, I did win because I won once, so I always win. Logic. All right. You know what? I don't even know. As you can see, we gained 10 points or something. I don't even remember what my previous ranking was. But, you know, we're just going to show this last battle here. I don't know. I guess recording recording makes my app crash a lot. It doesn't usually crash that lot. But here we go. We're going to fight. We're going to just show off this last battle here. Because everyone wants to see it. Against this mono Ardor team. So, great. I might actually be in a bit of trouble against mono Ardor. But, um, okay. Uh, I don't know why they're so fast. Dang. Dang, that mono Ardor. Uh-oh. Char. That's dangerous. Very dangerous. Oh, this is not good. Okay. I might get one shot. Okay, I'm alive. Good. That would have been really bad. If I got one shot, I would that would just ruin my that would just ruin everything. But I didn't die because so now I've got a way to come back. Here we go. Yuri. Ain't got nothing on Elizabeth, of course. Oh no, she's gonna penetrate here. Ooh. 
All right, whatever. Aw, oh, man. Shoe's going to move. Ugh. All right, and now Sue's going to move. This is not looking too good at all. Mono Otter apparently really strong against a Whirlwind-based team. So I'm going to lose here if I can't stop Nari. And I don't think I will be able to. So it's up to Cheetos to... Well, I guess she doesn't do anything. That's unfortunate. It uh, looks like I just lost the game. Oh, wait, nope. Nope, there's still, there's still a chance. There's still a chance. Elizabeth with the counterattack, and she passes to Marion, who's just going to run into it. But, oh, yeah, crap, she gets a move. But good thing I built Marion so tanky because she didn't die. So, here we go. Duke does his job. He does his one job in life, penetrates to the front line. He's going to go again. So that penetration power is actually useful somehow. Here we go now. I need to end this here. Because if they get to move again, Char's already at full action bar or something. So if Char gets to move, I'm pretty much toast. So I need to figure out a way to reflex steal from Elise, it looks like. Elise has quite some reflexes. Oh, she gets the recover action bar. Did I get the ball? Yeah, I did. But, mm, Erica, she's got defensive. Oh, mm, okay, I killed her. Good. There we go. Xiao Lang. Can you be the active passer? No, she already used it, of course. So Milky Way just going to give the pass instead. Here we go. Isolation. Woo! Woo! Well, you know, that's a good battle to end it on. That's as good as any day. Beating a Char team is really good for me. It's a good way to end it, as always. So, anyway, that's it. That's it. That's I'm out of balls. I ran out of balls. I looked at him, I told my doctor, you know, he, he told me to just get rid of that one ball, and I just got rid of all three balls, so now I have, I have no balls, apparently. Uh, that's, I don't know, no, I, I should probably get that checked out. Maybe, maybe there's some way to get that fixed. Alright, jokes aside, here we are, it's a new team and everything, Not, it's actually the exact same team, but it's a new roster, and I'm still in gold, but I'm winning. And I'm not losing. And that, I think, is the point that I wanted to make. And, you know, I think I made that point. Because I won three and I only lost one. And I only lost that one because of the crash. I probably, I don't think I would have lost. You know? I said so before I did that battle that I was going to win. You know? And I just felt like, you know what? The game was just like fed up with my arrogance, I guess. It was, the game was like, you know what? Yeah, you are going to win. But you know who's going to lose you! Well, game, you really have to work on uh, explaining things because I don't really know what that's supposed to mean. You're gonna lose! You're gonna lose, game! And then, you know, I guess what turns out, it, as it turns out, you know, I'm not invincible to crashes. And I'm not invincible to everything. Jokes aside! Jokes aside! Let's just end the video. Thank you all for watching Shaolang. Be really good at stuff. And that was a terrible way to end it. Let me try that again. Thank you all for watching this video, for taking time out of your day to spend some time looking at my team, have some fun. Hopefully you had fun. I've been just joking around the entire time. Hopefully, I don't really hate my I'm a cutie pie. I'm a cutie pie. I'm a, I'm a cutie pie's a good guy. He's a fun guy. I don't hate him. You know, no one go to his house and rate him. You know, they, they don't pin down on me. I didn't say that, you know? I didn't say that at all. So just don't do that. Don't go to Anna Cutie Pie's house. Don't don't do anything to Anna Cutie Pie that might get you in trouble because that would be bad and I might be liable if I said so. No, I'm not liable enough. I said I I, I said not to do it. So there we go. Don't do that. Do, do, don't do that. All right. Well, I should also not get off track here. I'm ending this video, and you know. I guess, I guess uh, we're going to hopefully one day get a video where I don't crash and burn. So, until then, thank you, and goodbye. Or, should I say, goodbye? Huh? No? Damn. Okay. Well, this is awkward. See ya!